Hey everybody, this is Diane and I am back with um, part two of my sketchbook tour for my big lovely Hannah Mueller uh, sketchbook. One thing I thought I would show you here, I love this sketchbook, the paper is beautiful. One thing it was lacking was a pocket to stick things in the back, so it's not the prettiest solution, but I just made my own little pocket here and I kept in here some page templates to various sizes so that when I was out on location, I could draw some really quick frames and have my sizes sorted out. So don't be afraid to customize your sketchbooks. All right, in part one, I showed you my London and Edinburgh sketches, and now for some back to New England sketches. I thought we would start right here with a little solo sketching day that I did here in Worcester where I live. Um, and this is a view of Bancroft Tower, which was a monument um, that one guy built for his, his friend up at the top of a hill here in Worcester. And except for a couple days of year, a couple days a year you can't actually go inside. Every now and then, Park Spirit will open it up and give tours. But uh, for the most part, you can just enjoy these lovely grounds from the outside. And on this day, I was especially working on my trees. There's this big, beautiful beech tree and some lovely birches. I find trees surprisingly difficult for organic shapes uh, where you'd think there's no wrong way. I'm here to tell you, there's loads of wrong ways. But these trees came out all right. A lot of my sketches in this book are little um, plein air sketches I did around my house, including this one of my yellow daylilies in full bloom. Um, I was trying to play around with some negative painting for the leaves, and the challenge I had on this sketch was coming up with a good shadow color for yellow. I find that when I try to make a shadow color with my yellows, I tend to end up with ugly browns or greens. Um, but in the end, I did find on this side of the page, I felt like I got some good successful shadowy colors that are a little cooler and desaturated. What I ended up doing was doing a really light mix of cerulean blue, alizarin crimson, and Hansa yellow. And my Instagram name isn't Diane Paints Flowers for no reason. I do like flowers. Um, these are some big urns of flowers up at the New England Botanical Garden at Tower Hill. And I sat holding an umbrella over my shoulder to paint these. So I painted them there on location in the rain and discovered I can absolutely sketch while holding an umbrella. Um, and some daisies from my yard. It was a rough summer for the garden. We had so much rain here, too much rain, not enough sun. But I tried to capture the imperfection of my daisies. And I think that gives them lots of personality and more negative painting with the leaf shapes. Oh, here's one of my practice pages. Um, I went out with Urban Sketchers of Rhode Island and visited Sunset Stables. And I actually spent several days practicing horses before the event because I was quite scared to try to paint horses. Um, and then when I got there, I spent some time just doing actually um, some continuous lines. So I'm not worried about measuring, sighting. I'm just pen on the page, trying to get some horse shapes down. And when I had warmed up enough, I gave this scene a try. This was Ruby and the little girl who um, rides her was extremely excited that I was painting Ruby. And I was being pretty uh, focused in what I wanted to practice in the sketch besides the horse where I wanted to use alternating cool and warm temperatures to try to create depth. So I don't know if you can tell in the video. I think when you're looking at this painting in life, it, it really worked. And here I have, uh, I was working out, I, I went, attended the New England Watercolor Society's Brushes with Nature event at Elm Bank in Wellesley. And, um, I was trying to work out my composition and colors here, so lots and lots of notes. I love sketchbooks for just working out all the ideas. 
All right, uh, a few more little vignettes that I did. Um, I did this quick sketch um, in Northampton at Familiar's Coffee, sitting on their beautiful patio next to this trellis of flowers. While my friend Stephanie worked on some writing, I did some sketching. It was supposed to be a writing day in Western Mass. It was for her, but for me, it was all about the sketches. This vignette is um, from another day up at the New England Botanical Garden at Tower Hill. The Worcester Art Museum held a, uh, a paint out event there. And these were some other artists who were sitting across the courtyard from me painting. Notice they're all basically facing away from me. I'm working up to people who are facing toward me. And on this page, this is, um, this is from the Worcester City Common outside City Hall. I was focusing again on the alternating warms and cools, but the other thing I tried really hard with this sketch was um, minimal pencil lines. So I did just the roughest of pencil drawings and tried to do most of the work with my paintbrush, which I think gives it a little bit more energy. Um, it's a little more primitive maybe than my usual style, but I think it, it does capture some energy to minimize my pencil lines. This was another of my Western Mass sketches from my writing and painting day with my friend Steph. Um, and it was quite cloudy by the time I did the sketch, not a lot of, um, not a lot of gorgeous light. But we were sitting at a coffee shop and I had just a view of this florist shop. Um, and I wanted to try to get the architecture, the angles of these little um, bump outs, whatever those are called. Um, and this bow window, which was really counterintuitive. Um, it looks like the angles are wrong, but I know that they're right. I can't explain it, but it was a great exercise in just getting my angles down. Also, I don't use any rulers in case you were wondering. Um, I have been gifted with fairly straight lines. That's one of my few innate talents. I can, I can draw straight lines. So I know people, I know no shame on people who do use rulers. I have actually tried because I've been told it would make me faster. Um, it did not make me faster and I just found it annoying. Um, I'm also a really fast sketcher, which I don't recommend emulating. I think people should take their time, but um, I sketch pretty fast without a ruler, so I'm going to stick to my freehand lines. Toward the end of the summer, one evening when the light was nice, I went down to the Canal District here in Worcester. This is behind Crompton Collective. There's this lovely little jewelry shop, and I knew from, the, from last summer that there is this beautiful vine. I don't know what kind of flower it is, but I knew this vine was really lovely and I wanted to try to capture that. And this is my other sketch from the Worcester Art Museum's Paint Out Day. My primary goal was a very, very hot day. And my primary goal was to find a sketching spot in the shade, which I did. So I was on the shade of a trail looking down toward a gazebo. There's a little pond in here that you can't see from this vantage. but there was this ivy and lovely cattails and this Joe Pie, this was Joe Pie weed all filling in this kind of purple. Um, and you know, one of the things I did that day is I did try a bunch of thumbnails to find my composition. I tried some other scenes walking around and it, in the end I chose this sketchbook scene, um, sorry, this gazebo scene. Once I had chosen it for my thumbnails, I did my value study to try to just um, have a good plan before I painted. This little sketch I did on a quick trip we did up to Wells, Maine, and this was a, this was a little shack behind our hotel. I think perhaps some of the hotel summer employees live there. But same, same process where I did a thumbnail drawing, I did it again for a value study, and you know, practice planning out some of the colors that I wanted before I actually did this sketch. Um, so often you just, uh, if you're looking for inspiration for sketches, you just see people's finished sketches and it can be kind of intimidating, but um, there's a lot of planning that goes into even to a really simple sketch. And it's 
it's something to to not overlook and to remember that you can take the time to warm up your hand, to warm up your eye, to do some planning. This is another from our trip to um, Wells, and this is Wells Harbor. You can see I tried out a bunch of different thumbnails before I picked this scene. Um, in the end, probably my umbre the umbrellas and the people should have been my focal point, but I, if I had moved them more to a focal point location, I wouldn't have had as much of the water. Very tricky, but um, a beautiful place to stand and sketch. This little sketch I, I shoehorned into this page. Um, I was meeting a friend for dinner at Semolina in Somerville, and I got there probably about, I don't know, a half hour early, just enough to throw together a really quick sketch. What caught my eye in the scene was the contrast of the, the crisp lines of the building and then this like kind of chaos of power lines up above. What you see above it are the planning preliminary sketches I did for this larger sketch over here. And this one I did in Worcester. Um, I sat before Start on the Street, which is an annual art event that happens on Park Ave. Um, I took my sketching stuff I set up in the park and did this view of a couple of our iconic triple deckers. I didn't have time to paint it on location that day, but um, so I came back and painted it at home. More late summer flowers with my cosmos and not, not my most successful flower sketch, but I do love this one. Kind of leaps right out at you. As I got into the fall, I had to turn more toward interior sketches. It gets too cold here to sketch outside. And this was um, my, my first interior of the fall. This is at Redemption Rock Brewery. And um, I had a day where I had work and then a meeting and I had a couple hours to kill and then I had to go back to work for the evening. So in my time in between meetings and going back for my evening event, I headed over to Redemption Rock and I did a sketch. Um, I, I got the drawing and like the first couple layers of paint done on location and then I painted the details later on at home. I also had a visit this fall to Peterborough, New Hampshire. It was an unseasonably warm day, about 70 degrees in the end of October, which is unheard of, um, and I took advantage to sit outside at the time, I was doing an online course in perspective, so I spent some time doing some perspective sketching, and then I decided that I wanted to get some color on my page, but this perspective sketch was a little too small, so I just did this maple tree here instead. Another unseasonably warm day this fall, the next weekend, um, I joined the Boston Urban Sketchers on Commonwealth Mall and did this vignette of a beautiful brownstone. Um, and I, I wasn't, I don't generally worry that much about coordinating the two sides of my page. I'm just sketching and having fun, as you can see here, not very coordinated. But it was serendipitous that I got the fall colors in both sketches, so I think they have a good harmony together. And some more of my interiors for the fall. So this one I did at the cake shop in Millbury. Um, I didn't have a brilliant view from where I was sitting, but it gave me an opportunity to sketch some people who are in profile or facing me. Also gave me a chance to try out some shadow combinations back here for this kind of wall that recedes and is, is less bright. Um, and to practice some of these kind of glowing lights. I don't know if you can tell in there that the glow comes out of the light. And this one, which is, we're getting almost to the end of my sketchbook, um, and this is the last sketch I did in this book uh, in terms of the dates on them. This one, um, I learned that my favorite bookstore cafe in Worcester, which is called Root and Press, um, is moving from its Chandler Street location to a new location on Shrewsbury Street. And I'm very excited for them to move to a bigger location and a place that is probably, probably gets more traffic than Tatnick Square. 
but I'm sad because they're in my neighborhood now and they won't be for long. So I headed out there yesterday morning and I had a cup of coffee and did my quick sketch. And I absolutely love the barista's gorgeous red hair. So I had to put her in the sketch. And my last sketch in the book, although not the last one chronologically, this was at the end of November. I joined the Massachusetts Plein Air Artist Group for their paint out day at Faneuil Hall in Quincy Market. And the hope that day was to do some Christmas decorations. It was absolutely bitter cold outside. Uh, so we spent most of our time indoors inside Faneuil Hall, but, um, or inside Quincy Market rather, um, I managed to go outside and find a spot of stun to do this sketch. So I, I did the drawing outside. It took me about 15 minutes to do a real quick drawing. And then I came back inside um, and sat at a cozy table to paint. So that is my London and New England sketchbook all completed. Time to start a new sketchbook for 2024. I hope you all are enjoying some creativity and some downtime over the holidays, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.